We continue our Back to School Early series today by giving back to two very deserving teachers who work with autistic and developmentally disabled students. Marie Mealy and Tamika Edwards are, oh, I'm sorry, this camera. <laughs> They are our makeover candidates, and we're going to meet them in just a bit. But joining us first are style expert Greta Monahan and Lancome's beauty at every age expert Sandy Littner, also here this morning. Marie's daughter, Erica Marcineau, and Tamika's sister, Candace Edwards. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Maggie. And one gentleman. Yes. Hello, little one-year-old Damani, who sees himself over there on the monitor. Yeah, that's <laughs> you. Yeah, Maggie. That's you. Oh, Hello. He's got his finger on all the girls. He's so cute. <laughs> Let's start with you, Candace. Your sister, Tamika, is a new mother herself. She works with autistic kids. Tell us about her style. She, when I was younger, I always used to want to dress like her. And then all of a sudden, everything was oversized and so out of date, so it's okay. <laughs> All right, what, what about your mom, Marie Erica? Well, I love her, but she is not stylish by any question. <laughs> she really dresses for comfort, and she works with the demanding population of kids, so she's always running around, and you know, uh, she wears clunky shoes, bad, stretchy pants. I love her, but not stylish or cool. I want to hear why you guys think they are deserving of a makeover. Let's start with you, Candace. Tamika works really hard in everything she does, and I think she deserves it because she always tries to keep up with the newest fashions, and sometimes it doesn't work, but she tries really hard. She just so. doesn't have the time, it sounds yeah, like. Yeah, because so busy, right? Right. And what about your mom? Well, first off, my mom just turned 50 oh. last week, so it is really time for her to have a makeover and take care of herself and be beautiful. and. She works so hard. Okay. The students, she she was on vacation this past week and was taking calls from her students all week long. So. All right, let's take a look at that at Tamika and Marie before, and then right after that we'll bring them out and see how they look now. This is Tamika before, just very simple sense of style. And we're gonna do the big reveal. Tamika, where are you? Gorgeous. You look so stylish and gorgeous. Wow. Look at her sister's reaction. Do you recognize her? No, she looks so different. That is priceless reaction. Let's see, let's see Marie before right now, if we could. Let's take a look at Erica's mom Marie before. There she is. She seems happy and smiley. Not so much in that picture. That's right. All right, let's bring Marie out now. Let's see what our style experts did for Marie. Oh my goodness. I love you. Your reaction was great. That is dramatic. You look unbelievable. Thank you. Wow. Let's start with Tamika and ask you, Greta, uh, what did you do with Tamika? You know I get excited because back to school is not about just the kids. We have to take care of the teachers here. This is the best. I can't get over it. So Tamika, I actually sent her to Monique at Paula Breck's salon because he is a spe she's a specialist in straightening hair. And one of the things you need to know is that she recently lost 30 pounds. So part of the reason she was wearing the big clothes was to cover up. The other part was she said, I just needed to be comfortable with the little one. And I know everyone can relate to that. Yeah, so we wanted to keep her comfortable but get her stylized. Okay? Sandy, tell us about the makeup. Well, I'd love to play up her eyes. Tamika's eyes needed a little black liner, little black mascara, and the glow on the cheeks and glow on the lips. Beautiful. Let's move over to Marie. Greta, her style is beautiful. Thank you. Well, Marie, she works as a teacher, but she's in an administration role. So she needs a more professionalized look. We popped it with a color. Great style is about great items. You don't need to go head to toe outfits. Don't break the bank. One little top like this, sleeveless is comfortable. Blouse and a bold neck piece for statement. Just like Tamika with the print, the animal print, you can jazz it up with just a couple of pieces. I did a nice classic pant because she can't wear dresses and skirts running around with the middle school kids and yeah. she told me they all say something bad about her style so she had to get brought up to date. All right Sandy what's the key for makeup? The key was to play up the brow. I felt they were uh, too blonde, you couldn't see them and brows frame the face. Yeah. Play Love up the face. lip with a neutral colored lip and tone down the skin with a, a powder foundation. Marie, are you happy? I loved it. I loved it. It was a completely different change. It was, it was and a we great. How do you feel? I feel pretty good for her. She's no like, lady. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Tamika? Oh, I love it. It's so versatile and fun. Yeah. Yeah. Back to school has never been this much fun, right? I know. I think the kids will be impressed. Two on mommies. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
contributions. For more on these styles, just go to our website. It's earlyshow.cbsnews.com.